I remember going to see the documentary Les Ballets Russes way back in 2005. This was a story of the Russian Ballet Company, based in Paris, that toured throughout Europe and the Americas in the early part of the 20th century and is credited with reinvigorating the art of performing dance. One part of that documentary really stuck with me. The company Ballet Russe de Monte Carlo was formed in 1932 after the end of the first Ballet Russe. It too was very popular and toured the world for several decades. It was also the first major ballet company to hire a black ballerina, Raven Wilkinson. Miss Wilkinson, who broke the color barrier when she signed with the company in 1955, is credited with having been the first African-American woman to dance for a major classical ballet company. She was promoted to soloist during her second season with the company and danced with them for six years. What really stayed with me in this story is what happened when she toured with the company in the United States. The first two years were all good, primarily because she passed for white. When it was discovered she was black, she was barred from staying in white's only hotels in the South and eventually had to be removed from certain performances in the South. As racial discrimination began to affect the company's bottom line, she was eventually forced out. The reason this stayed with me is because I could never get out of my mind how it must have felt to have worked so hard to have achieved so much just to be rejected and turned away from the thing you love so much simply and only because of the color of your skin. So why is this important? Because our show, A Night at Club Alabama, celebrates how far we have come both as a people and a nation in a country full of segregation and racism in the 1930s and 1940s, the fact that a place like Central Avenue, a hub of black business and entertainment, could have even existed is a testament not only to the, emancipa the Emancipation Proclamation, but to the triumph of will. And the fact that in a country so poisoned by intolerance that there could still be young women of color who dreamed of soaring on the ballet stage and were willing to work hard and sacrifice much to achieve that dream, this still serves as an inspiration for all future generations.